No. No. What are you all laughing at? Nothing. Okay. Take your steak or any piece of meat out of the fridge about at least a half an hour before you're going. Is she to gonna do what I think she's gonna do? It comes out of the fridge. It's all tense like this, and then when it's out. Tense. Your meat tense. Uncle Roger, asshole tense. <laughs> I think you're gonna stop. <laughs> chef Brian Sow here, not your typical chef, and today I'm gonna be reacting to Uncle Roger hate British TV pho. Here we go again. These Brits and messing up food, messing up Asian food. You guys just. Just won't stop. You guys just won't stop. <laughs> Before I go on with today's episode, I do want to give a shout out to my amazing sous chef level patrons. Thank you so much for your support. If you've been watching this show and want to support me further, please consider becoming a patron by hitting the link in the description below. By becoming a patron, you can take advantage of some awesome perks. And lastly, if you can follow me on Instagram at Chef Brian Sow, I would greatly appreciate that as I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers. And with that out of the way, let's react to some British shit. This morning is British daytime talk show, and recently they have chef on there making fur high <laughs> Asian cooking on British TV. You know this is gonna be disaster. <laughs> just, just look at the title. 10 minutes fur, fur take hour to make. 10 minutes and fur are words that don't belong together. <laughs> just like the words Jamie Oliver and Chef. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired! <laughs> got just the thing. You're making a superfood soup today. A super, a super, super food soup. Super. Opening shot already not looking good. Not a single pot for prof. And she got two frying pan. Hiya. Uncle Roger never see anyone make pho with frying pan. It's a Vietnamese pho. It only takes 10... Pronouncing it wrong. It's so easy. Not pho, it's, it's pho. I'm doing it with steak, which is traditional what they do it in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. But you could do it with chicken, you could do it with prawns or tofu or whatever you like. Wait, wait, um, wait, no. Cannot be whatever you like. There are rules to this shit. There's clearly not just one type of pho. The most popular pho is beef pho. For the point of this video, let's stick with the beef pho, the classic, okay? And it just can't be whatever the fuck you want. Let's start there. Why, all right, Rachel Ray did this too. They keep making these noodle soups in these shallow bowls. And for noodle soups, you always want to go with a taller bowl so that it insulates the heat. The wider the mouth opening of the bowl and the, the shallower it is, the faster it's going to cool. And the point of a noodle soup, of a hot noodle soup, is that it's hot. And this is not conducive to keeping it hot. At least, at, at least they got limes there. I, I, I guess. Trying to find something redeeming. Trying to stay positive, Brian. Do you know what? I'm the same as you, Phil. Actually, I don't eat an awful lot of red meat anymore either. Do you, Holly? This is white people's favorite topic. Dietary <laughs> restriction. You ever hang out with your white friend? When you go get dinner, that all they talk about. I cannot eat this. I cannot eat that. Ah, uh, yeah. That is white people culture. It is very rare to hear in many parts of Asia about dietary allergies and restrictions. It's it's just not nearly as common and exactly why, I have no fucking clue. I mean, there's a lot of allergies and dietary restrictions in the West that I think people impose upon themselves. But yeah, as far as growing up, like I've, I've heard of peanut allergies before. That I've definitely heard of growing up and the occasional shrimp allergy, but it's definitely become rampant in the West and legitimately so. I mean, I know several people who are legitimately deathly allergic to a lot of things, unfortunately for them. But yeah, in, in, in the East, in, in many parts of Asia, rarely hear about it. And why that is, I have not a clue. Let me know in the comments. Me either, and I can't- What's she doing that. with the beef? A little treat, but what I will say is anybody is making a- Is she oiling the beef? Steak every once in a while, I just crave it sometimes. She putting she salt, total, pepper, yeah. and oil on the steak? No, for fun, you either cook the meat with the broth, or you braise it in the pot. Very Western thing, she's going to sear the meat. I think um, uh, Uncle Roger shit on, who was it? On Jamie Oliver's butter chicken about searing the chicken first, which I wasn't like, uh, I wasn't too upset about actually. You know, Jamie was trying, just trying to, replicate the closest thing he can get to a tandoor chicken by searing it on the pan. In this case though, for pho, the pho beef is always sliced super thin and then it is basically cooked 
with just the heat of the broth and or it is a big chunk of beef that has been braised and then sliced thin and placed in there as well. So right away, we're not starting off, we're not off to a good start because there is no seared steaks in beef pho. That's it, no. No! What are you all laughing at? Nothing. Okay. Take your steak or any piece of meat out of the fridge about at least a half an hour before you're going to Is she going to do what I think she's going to do? It comes out of the fridge. It's all tense like this. And then when it's out... Tense? Your meat tense? Uncle Roger, asshole tense? <laughs> I think you're going to fuck up. And get your pan no. as hot as you can. Not pan? I use a griddle pan at home mm. sometimes, but most people just have a frying pan, so that's great. No, no, so don't, don't, no! <laughs> oh, knee down. Knee down. We got to knee down, people. She's mentioning about tempering the steak. She said, pull it out. Well, I forgot what it was, like half an hour before. Right away, then that doesn't become a 10-minute superfood soup. Okay, so the tempering of the steak, I've seen that done before where, like, you want to try and get the steak, trying to get an even coloring throughout. I commonly don't do this, but I've seen and heard of people taking their steaks out. And in the home atmosphere, you know, in the professional atmosphere, it's coming straight from the fridge onto the pan, into the, seared on the grill and or pan, and then finished in the oven. But I have seen people temper their steaks so that they can get a hard, the idea is to get a hard, it's totally un, unnecessary in my mind. Just trying to find something redeeming in all this in the mindset. I guess she's just trying to get it to a, you know, to room temp and then sear it really quick so then everything all the protein from side to side is like an even pink hue because if you do cook something very cold a piece of meat rather cold and you sear it on both sides you will have like sear and then like a well done part and then a very raw part you know what i mean that also has to do with how hard you're cooking the protein i don't know why am i rambling and defending this let's just keep watching you hear sizzling I hear my ancestor crying. Uncle Roger's so upset, I put my leg down from chair. You don't sizzle steak like this. No. This is fur, not outback steak yes. house. Hiya. Hiya indeed. You want that sizzle mm. straight away? Uh, making steak like this, are you gonna pair it with french fry or something? Like <laughs> steak and fry? I think she's making Asian fusion now. She's fusing Vietnamese with depression. <laughs> so one minute on each side and then uh, don't turn it. I'm always tempted to turn it and then season it then again when it goes se se Season there. again? The broth. How many times you want to season your steak? Like four times now? Four season is name of hotel, not recipe for pho. <laughs> and then onto the broth. So yeah. this is like the heart. I don't know if you noticed, but she was using the tongs to rub the oil on the steak. She clearly doesn't want to get her hands dirty. The way she should have done this, which would have been much more efficient is plate, steak, season, use your hand or a tong, I guess, flip it over and season. And then when you're putting on the oil, apply with your hand, it'll just be way quicker. And also you're going to sear the steak. Bacteria only grows on the outside of steak, which is why for beef, you can eat it medium rare or rare, as opposed to something like a chicken where potentially have salmonella that penetrates throughout the protein, which is why you always want to cook chicken. Well done. Anyway, like I said, she clearly doesn't want to get her hands dirty, so she's working very inefficiently, unfortunately. Okay, broth part of her. First thing she said that correct. Beef broth here, but you could use chicken, you could vegetarian. If but you then you don't cheese, show us how you make your broth. You just come here with the finished broth. It looks like uh, water with bouillon cubes, <laughs> essentially. Show us. Oh, I know why she can't make the broth because she got no pot. See, the prof you just steal from Vietnamese restaurant down the street, <laughs> you spend more time sizzling your steak than showing us how to make prof hi ya. Why like that? And then put in, I put in a teaspoon of sugar. Sugar, and correct. To be honest, okay. at home, most of the time, I actually use honey, because we have- Honey? Sugar, we have our own honey at home. No, don't use honey, you psycho. <laughs> So sometimes I'll put in mostly honey in there. And then I've got gorgeous fresh ginger to give it that Gin lovely zest. No, not like that. Uh, ginger, correct. But first of all, you need to char it first. And you yeah. put ginger in fur broth as whole piece of ginger. You don't mince your ginger and yes. put in there. Now people eating your fur, they're going to eat mouthful of minced ginger. Hiya, who want that? You need to roast your ginger and roast your onion. This segment is called, on this morning show, is called 10 Minute Pho, which is impossible. Unless you do something like Jet Tila's, that was a nice, that was a nice, I would say, compromise. But for this one, yeah, I, like, while mincing up the ginger does increase surface area, you can extract more flavor 
quicker, I would have put it into a sachet or something. Like, God forbid, like what Rachel Ray did where she put all her spices in the tea bag, but at the very least, it's not floating in there. If she decided to do it this, which she has actually, where you do it this way, you put in all this minced gin ginger into the broth, then you're gonna need to strain it before you serve it. If you forget to roast ginger and onion, Uncle Roger gonna roast you. And then star anise, I also put in, which gives that star anise, correct? Freshly flavor, which mm. I love. Um, I love it so much. But if you didn't have that or you can't find it, don't worry. The ginger is important. But you're just putting one. Who gonna taste it? The sugar is important. And I think everybody has a cinnamon stick, and you only need cinnamon. That. Good. Let me, let me turn over my correct. steak. And this is how you want it. You want it seared. You want it crispy. Crispy. Give it a little. You want it seared. You want it crispy. No, 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 no. She's just throwing adjectives out now. <laughs> you don't necessarily want it crispy. But you don't want it seared either. For fuck. Crispy steak is like freaking Point Crow's A5 Wagyu that he microwaved to death. Whew. That was a hard one to watch. Crispy beef in it. No need to have crunch in there. If your fur have crunch, then you need to be punched. That's what Uncle Roger <laughs> said. Um, and then one minute on each side. That's medium rare. Yeah, so um, it, basically by tempering the steak, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to also get to medium rare quicker because the steak is at room temp. It's been tempered. It's not cold. So the heat takes less time to penetrate. Not that this is the proper technique for a pho to begin with. Okay, back to the spices. I also put in a few cloves in here. Clove, okay. And nampla, which is fish sauce. Fish sauce, good, but wait, wait like that, that much for- oh. That's a lot for that quantity. I will say, I like a lot of fish sauce. So that's probably more up my alley, but you know, that's personal preference. Yeah, if you're just making a basic pho broth, that is a bit much. So little broth, you poured that much in? Please, Horrible yeah. smell. It's, it's it's nice when it's in a dish. Oh yeah. But fish sauce without being in the dish is a horrible sauce. It, it, it is actually, you off, yeah. You know, I'm so used to like smelling it. No, what is that black liquid? When it's in there. No. What the hell yeah, did you just pour? Sauce? Tell mm -hmm. people. You can't just pour mysterious black liquid on cooking show and don't tell what it is. What is she spiking I think, her? I think that's soy sauce. God forbid it's like balsamic vinegar or something like that. I think it's soy sauce. We'll see if she says what it is. Are you trying to poison us? Do you work for KGB or something? Uncle Roger guessing. That black liquid there is soy sauce and that wrong again. Hiya. And then onto the noodles over here. So these are um, Vietnamese rice noodles. They're hmm. gorgeous. Okay. Noodle look correct. You could use any noodles you want to. No, no you cannot use no. any noodle. You have to use specific fur noodle. The world has rules, woman. Not just anything go. <laughs> Can we remove the word any from Asian mm. cooking? Noodle <laughs> is not pasta. You can't just change it out for another shape. They all make of different things yes. for different dishes. Nail on the nail on the head head on the nail what 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 the hell i can't even think this is such a train wreck train rake train wreck Ooh. okay what uncle roger just said is spot on you can't just interchange these noodles you know in eastern culture noodles are made of a lot of different things whether it's soba with buckwheat whether it's rice noodles using rice there's just so many different types of noodles and they are used for different applications different styles of dishes it's not all made with wheat flour. Pre-soaked these for pre -soaked, correct. on hot water. Yeah, that is correct. Rice noodles for pho, you always want to pre-soak the rice noodles to soften it up and then just basically kiss it with some heat. So you put it in your, your boiling water just momentarily, you know, not basically for me, the shorter, the better. I like a little bit of chew on it, but once it's hydrated, you do not need to cook it that long. And then I'm going to pop them into the broth here. Not into broth. Mm. Don't make noodle in for broth. Yeah, the starch is going to dirty the broth, but also you have all this shit in there that's just free floating in her specific broth. And that noodle is going to catch on to all that shit. She should have str If she was going to go this way, she because she's trying to make this in 10 minutes. At the very least, this broth should have been straight, which it's not. Simmer away, they'll soak up everything. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, um, like when I'm at home. I do, I do genuinely cook every single night at home. I really go out to restaurants, actually. But yeah. Nice clothes back. I think you need to go out to restaurant more. Stop <laughs> cooking at home. If you bad at cooking, stop cooking. You're not getting better. You're making same mistake at home over and over. Nobody <laughs> tell you you fucked up. Go to restaurant, see how they cook, learn from them. Then you go home and cook. Please stop cooking. 
Go eat at a restaurant <laughs> before you go on TV. I don't necessarily agree with that. You don't go to a restaurant to get a cooking lesson. She can just watch a few YouTube videos, though. She'll watch some of Uncle Roger's videos, <laughs> and she'll learn a thing or two. When you're new, though, pre-soak already. Just yes. cook it for two seconds, yes. three seconds max. There you go. Don't cook so long, it's gonna get soggy. Hiya. Why are you gonna bring that to a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. Stop laughing. <laughs> For the weekend of my mom and my dad. Stop. Be miserable. Be miserable with Uncle Roger. Oh, Save the Nuto. Save the Nuto. Um, I, I, I feel like uh, Clara is her name. I think she's a little nervous being on live television. It is kind of nerve wracking. I've done morning news shows numerous times and it's just like, it's a lot, man. There's, you don't see what's behind the camera, but these morning shows are a production. I mean, just wires and equipment and people and lights and it's just it, it's a lot to take in so i don't blame her for being a little nervous and losing her train of thought on air where the lifeguard lifeguard help the noodle he's drowning we you were talking about rice thing. noodles absorbing the flavor of the stock savor the stock that noodle is going to be mush now that is going to be mush oh take the noodle out uncle roger know why it called immune boosting first soup now because the food's so toxic for your body your body gonna fight it and i don't always <laughs> have these noodles sometimes i'll have like egg noodles or i'll have vermicelli noodles or whatever noodles i have and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter just pop them in and they all kind of take the same amount of no. time to cook it's usually a <laughs> <laughs> did she just say oh fuck um all right. Clearly, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Unfortunately, it's it, these these not even pasta shapes are interchangeable and take the same amount of time to cook. So completely false. Completely disagree with. Every noodle takes same time to cook. What universe <laughs> this woman live on? Do you think all this noodle they all take same time to cook? It, this is the food version of thumb and thumb. <laughs> 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 Uncle Roger haven't feel this upset since my ex-wife Auntie Helen. <laughs> Same amount of time to cook. It's usually about four minutes. Do you minutes. cook from a recipe at home or it's just all in your head? Never. I never all in your head. I'm always doing... Well, it clearly shows. I... I clearly see that. <laughs> out. I like... Maybe you should start following recipe. Why are you so proud of yourself for fucking up? <laughs> I find it really exciting mm. taking everything out from the fridge and, and everything from the store cupboard going creative. like I've got some... Tin tomatoes, I've got this. So it's like this, ready, and, steady cook. And then I let it rest um, just for a couple of minutes. But because. The stick resting more than all our Vietnamese ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> we were going straight what for it. Is that? That, that, that is that is so what you perfect. want, right? Oh, Do you like geez. your steak like that too? Yeah. Mm. No, not if it's infer. Absolutely. I don't like it like that. You want to put a steak no. in there. Totally, yeah. And just <sighs> change the broth. And that's not medium rare. That is rare. Rare. Okay. Let's go. Let's look back at that. That is a rare steak, not a medium rare steak. Like your steak like that too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, not. That's that. That's rare. Absolutely. I don't like it like that. I want to put a steak in there. Totally. Yeah, that is completely raw on the inside. Three minutes is not enough. That definitely needed to sit on the pan a little more if she wanted medium rare. And also, there's you're not supposed to be cutting steak on top of pho. Change the broth to what you're actually going to do. So, for example... No! Change your broth to exactly what you're going to do. What? So yummy. I use beef broth here. What she just do? What did she just do? Did you see that? So yummy. I use beef broth. Is she smelling the noodle to check if the noodle done? <laughs> this noodle, not fruit, smelling won't tell you shit, hiya. <laughs> so I'm putting in my noodles, my thingy, and then I've Your sliced thingy. up my steak. I remember no. That. Sorry for my fingers. Put steak first, then pop broth. Yeah, this is already a train wreck beyond all train wrecks. I thought Rachel Ray's pho was bad. This definitely takes the shit trophy. The shit pho trophy was is just given to Clotta. But if she want, did try to get some brownie points, yes, I agree with Uncle Roger. Should have put the steak on, the noodle, then the steak, and then pour the hot broth over that. Completely missing the mark on everything. And then I'm dressing it all up. So sometimes you put the chili into the broth, but for this one, you- Chili, okay, I guess. Chili in it. You want it to be lovely and fresh. There's mint in there, isn't I've it? I've got mint. The mint's amazing. Basil, and I've also got coriander. Okay. Fred, if you don't have all three, you could mm. just use one of them. Whatever you've like, got. Like, whatever you have, even flat leaf parsley and- <laughs> I 
love Uncle Roger's face. Like, oh, fuck off. Like, <laughs> For, for what? Whatever you have, even flat leaf parsley. Okay, that's what he was fucking gawking at. Uh, no, there's no flat leaf. <sighs> you don't just replace one noodle for the other or one green leafy herb, green leafy herb for another. It doesn't work like that. That is not how this works. I also don't see any Thai basil there. So he fucked up there too. Parsley? Oh my god. Did you just say parsley for fur? Not all Asian people hate you now. <laughs> she British and she devastate entire group of people. I think she's the Margaret Thatcher of cooking. She putting whatever uh. she feel like. How about you put mayonnaise and barbecue sauce in your fur also? Uh. Anything go correct? I uh... Uncle Roger is pissed. I've seen him sad and upset, you know, but he is like, I guess upset is pissed, but no, but pissed is a different level of, of upset. He is pissed. Yes. Want this on a it's Monday. lovely. I don't want this on any day. It feels good on many, many exactly. levels. Exactly. This will yeah. cool any anxiety. Pop the music on. Yeah, it cure any anxiety, correct? Because it's making Uncle Roger want to kill myself. <laughs> Is my oh, life gone? God. Anxiety also gone? Life hack. What the hell, Uncle Roger Ooh. just watched? Brutal. Write this shit on British National Brutal, TV. Dude. Hi, uh, what is this show? PH? What the PH stand for? Pornhub? Because I think <laughs> the people on there cook better than this shit. What am I gonna grade this out of 10? It's getting a zero. Sorry, there's like nothing redeeming about that. Really, really off the fucking mark. You know, you ever seen that that scene in a in like a cheesy ass teenage movie where the, the dorky guys with the hot girl playing darts and he's throwing darts and then rather than throwing it any Anywhere near the dartboard, it fucking lands into the head or the leg of someone standing by. That's what this fucking fud dish is. Bad. That was bad. Oh, okay. All right. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And until the next episode, I am Chef Ryan Sao, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon.